All right, guys, yo, Chaser. Now, if I was deciding if to go any further or not, I just turned the phone off and I started walking up the hill. I heard like, I heard like a noise that sounded like steel. Now, there can't be no steel out here. Then I thought I heard two people talking. I'm, I've stood on the track here for ages. There's no one here. I thought oh, they might catch up. There might be just someone hiking. But I haven't, um... No one's rocked up yet. So that's trippy. I was about to turn around too. Just because was, there was nothing happening. Well, I don't know where the steel noise was. That's what it sounded like. I walked. Out, I did walk over that branch there, and it was after that. But that don't sound like steel. Man, I thought I heard people talking. I don't know. Look up a bit more. Shit. Tell you what, you can break a leg in here easy. Slippery, some of it. Got a little tree break. Sound like a tree break on the other side of the roof. Alright. Alright guys. I'm gonna head back. It's probably about four now. I'm not, I'm not hearing nothing, not seeing nothing. I don't even know how far this track goes, I don't even know where it goes. Obviously it goes a long way. I probably haven't got enough time. Or To walk up. I don't I don't even know how long probably a good forty five minute walk in, I reckon I've done. Don't know, I don't forget. The only time I heard any was just back here before. And I thought I heard talking but it's weird. I'll check out some other places on the way home. But yeah, if you do know any, in here, let us know. I've got to, I've got to find the latest sighting. That's what I want to know. And then just head straight there. No mucking around. Just search the whole area. There's a couple of good swimmers, but I reckon this probably come alive at night. 
We probably have more chance anyway at night. I think you have more chance anywhere at night. I'll go back and get down to where there's um footprints. Oh, I don't think they were, but they, they look like the shape of them. I'll go have a look at them. All right, guys. I'm shattered. For this, I really had to start, and I walked across that creek. I was excited. I was like, man, this is going to be good. But, if I was a yaoi, what am I going to eat in here? Well, what do they eat? Do they eat wallabies? I haven't seen any in here. There's plenty of water. No, no animals, a few birds. Anyway, I don't know if I'm, um, just remember my, <laughs> my retarded story about the owies and the gun, Captain Cook shooting the Aboriginals. Well, later that night, was it that night I got the message? Yeah, it might have been that. Like, there's no way the person could have read what I wrote. And I have no reason to believe that the person would lie. They told me the story of a of an army dude. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's on an army range or whatever, but he he had the he had a galley lined up, I believe, to shoot it. And the galley was going mental. Going ballistic. And then, I don't know, the army guy put it down, I don't know why he put it down. Did he, did he think, oh, that's a human? Better not shoot it. But anyway, apparently he's put his gun down. Oh, this is a trippy story, man. This is a true story. So yeah, he's put his gun down. And then, um, the Yowie was fine. I'm pretty sure the Yowie came over near him, closer, and started watching him. Didn't care. But also in the story, there's been a number of... Well, the, the rumours are that they've tried, they have tried to get them, but they can't. They can't shoot them. Which is pretty, pretty freaky, which makes them more... Makes me think that they must be more three-dimensional than what we think. Probably why their bones aren't found. I don't know. What do they come here for? But then that just. I don't know. It opens up a whole. more questions that can't be answered. It's just weird. It's like the. Um, the Wiffren one. I, I meant to ask the truck driver. If you are listening, mate, what I want to know is, when you've seen it, um, in case I don't message you, I forget it. What I want to know is, if, when, when, it, when you're sitting on the road, um, is there a chance, no, this is what my thing is, I, I'm thinking it might have just landed there. Like, did he come out of another dimension? And just appear there on the road when you've seen it and it was squatting and then it didn't have the chance to get up and go and you just rocked up. That's that's my thing. There's no because these guys are supposed to be Oh, it's really raining heavy now. I'm glad I turned around now. Um these guys are supposed to be on the wood and not be seen and but they're always seeing new roads. It's just is that where they get dropped off? Is that how they come out of there, wherever they come from? Another dimension, maybe. I know this sounds crazy, but there's got to be an. There's just more to this. 
like everyone says, if they were here, he would find a body, he would find bones. Like, there's got to be a rogue one somewhere, and he's going to have to die. I know there's plenty of places, you're never going to find it, but by now, you think something would happen? You think someone would have it on film? No one does, or a photo, or well, people have them, but who knows how real they are. You can't prove it. And I was listening to Rex Gilroy too. I forget how long he's been doing it for that fella. 50 years, man. 50 years. Doing this. Well, oh, I'd love to go and have a chat with him. Rex, mate, if you're listening. <laughs> I know you won't be watching my videos, but if you are. Can I come and meet you, mate? I'll listen to your stories all day, mate. I'd love to hear what you've got to say on this subject. Your knowledge will be unbelievable. You are a legend. You are the man. But anyway, I'm going to get soaked. Awesome. That was the science in my shoe. When I put my shoe on, I don't know how it got wet. When the car, there's no water in the car, but my left shoe's wet. How does that work? Did a yowie just open up my door when I was out walking one day and pour water in it? I don't know. How would it get wet? No one drives it. Only I do. Like I said, the floor's not wet. Nothing's wet. Just my left shoe. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, about that. Finding these bloody owies. So yeah, I'm now I'm researching far beyond looking in the bush. I'm still going to come out here walking through the bush because I like doing it. And, and I'm a, I, I might get lucky one day and one just happens to walk across my track. Well, I'm not going to hold my breath. As confident as I am to find the one, I just you never know. You might find one, I don't know. But I think there's there's a lot more going on than what we know. And that explains why they're not photographs. That's you know, we'll be on this tree. Alright, I'm through the tree. Man, that's alright. It's enough more crap again. Alright guys. Something to think about. Get your little minds happening. Look up the serpent, what it means. Oh, something else I've, I've thought of too. The didgeridoo. Now, I think I'm only saying I know something about this, if you watch this. What's to go with the didgeridoo? I tried looking it up. What was it used for? I know that it's just for song and... But I think there's more to the didgeridoo than we're ever going to know. I, I really think... Well, just think of this, right? You know when they play the didgeridoo? Just listen. You know they get a stick and they hit the side of it? Like, they're doing... And then bang! They hit the stick on the side. That's like a tree knock. Well, you, you see where I'm coming from? Is that is that a Yowie language? That 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 tune that they're playing, they're playing it like it's obviously going to be loud. It's going to, you know, go all through the mountains and I don't know. Is that a calling thing for Aboriginal? Ah, for the Yowies from the Aboriginals. Is it like, hey, come down, bro, to you at my place tonight? Is it, is that what it means? I don't know. I just think there's more to it. Anyway, someone that's Aboriginal, oh, please let me know. I'm going to try and get through here. And I'm not trying to disrespect anything. I just think that there's more to it. <coughs> oh, bloody cobbles. Everywhere I go, I read Aboriginal stories, like that are in national parks. And they're all trippy. I believe them, but it's... it's like I was, This guy that I was saying that I watched the other day. The, the way they've been said doesn't make sense. Like, I was one at Tulum the other day, and it says that, I don't know, 
someone cut the water off to somebody. So then this this other I don't know what they are spirit I don't know made a big flood and if you go to Tulum Falls there's a big rock missing and they're saying that that rock it's pretty it have to it's pretty huge it's, that went all the way down the Clarence River and now I've looked it all up it's gone 200 k's and it's now is it Iluka or Yamba I think it's Iluka or Yamba when you if you go down the river that rock has ended up down there somewhere. It's gone 200 k's down the river. Now, there's got to be truth to it. These stories get told all the time. But what they write is maybe we read it and don't understand it because we're misinterpreting what it is. And that's where I think this fella that I was listening to last night is blowing my brains away. Might be able to, we might be able to solve it. I don't know. I don't know if Aboriginal people know what it is how they interpret all their writings and I don't know if they do they, obviously there'd be some that do but anyway it's something else I'm going to explore as well because they um obviously that was their Facebook draw a painting on the wall and they weren't doing it to make money or to be a hero or whatever they just wrote what they seen on the wall and if, obviously they didn't do it all the time so whatever they wrote whatever's on them walls is highly important there's a reason for it Yes, that hurt. Oh, I just got a stick at this ball straight in my shin. Is that a sign to shut up? Maybe. All right, guys. See you later. I'm ending it.